is Aerosmith Gamer. And we are going to let's play Mr. Bean's Wacky World. I was looking for something for a while to do my first let's play, and I think I finally found it. I uh, don't. I wasn't able to find any other let's plays of this. I wonder why. <laughs> so let's get started. And. Now we'll start something new. I think I, I started one about two months ago. But uh, I didn't get very far. Just wanted to make sure the game was up and running and all that. Arrow. Five. Um, there's other characters to select. Oh, you can be your girlfriend too. This game is based on the animated series. Okay, so that's how, when I did this before, I said, okay, so apparently we're going to be looking for a missing puzzle piece. Alright, so we start up. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> and then you go read this thing. Uh, maybe. If you ever want to see Teddy in one piece again, bring me 1,000 cat biscuits. Okay, so I thought I was going to be finding puzzle pieces. There's no story explanation why Teddy got stolen, so that just makes no sense. So whatever. Uh, when I played this before, I kind of figured out it was a combination. Basically platformer with some puzzle elements. <laughs> anyway, I'll see if I can get the controls correct. So, here we are. Oh. The hunt begins. And I got nothing, okay. So I guess these are the various levels. And then there's a... Oh, look at that. I just found a teddy. Whatever, okay. <laughs> I think you can get killed by the frogs, actually. Yeah, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. I guess I need three teddies to go there. Okay, whatever. The park. Sewer entrance. Hey, get me out of this one. Uh, okay, whatever. Does anybody else think that the road looks like cheese? Because I do. Yeah, those are bees and they'll kill you too. So whatever, let's go in here. The hunt begins, so apparently this is the first level. Loading screen. Loading screen. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Okay. I thought uh, actually about doing the whole let's play in the voice of Mr. Bean, but I, I decided that was probably a really bad idea. <laughs> okay. I thought uh, it might get old just to hear me going ho 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 through like, you know, 10 or 20 videos. Apparently that's a cat biscuit. Um. I've never seen the animated series, I actually stuck the DVDs in my shopping cart on Amazon, so maybe I'll get around to seeing it at some point. But I don't know. So, uh... I think if you step on that, you'll smash yourself in the face. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, so don't do that. <laughs> oh, there. Uh, give me that. Okay. Check this out. Die me! Oh, I'll just flop there. Look how he flops. Oh, poor little bee. So he's gonna get back up. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Boing. How many cat biscuits do I need? 2,000? I think this might have originally... Uh, I think this might have originally been a um, PlayStation 2 game that was ported. Some some places I've seen it referred to as Mr. Bean's Wacky World of Wii. Uh, but whatever, I don't know. Danger, water hazard. Boy, these signs are really informative. Ah, freaking frog. Can I stomp on you? Apparently not. Alright. Yay. Okay. 
with me. Well, that's to recenter your hero. How do you, oops, how do you look around? Oh, here we go. That's how you change your weapons. I guess I got none of those other things. Um, I don't know how to look up. Guess there's no way to look up. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, let's do this. There we go. Bam! Give me that. Did I heal? I don't even know what that did. Oh, a checkpoint. Sweet. Get away from me. Why explosives? Okay. Okay, don't do that. Oh. Let's see if I'm stupid enough to go on rakes again. Oh boy. Well, this is further than... This is about as far as I got, I think, before. I might have got to this next area up here. Thing in the beat at me. Boing. Yeah. No problem. It's a pretty straightforward game. Uh, seems pretty linear at the moment. Why is this even here? I guess I can jump over the B. Okay, whatever. Okay. Wild animals. Alright. Uh, that's not an animal. Boy. Ow. Music's kind of fun. I hope it's a different song in other parts of the game, though, because I can see where this song could drive you insane. Oh, buddy. Wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. Teddy! Okay. Gotcha! Ha ha ha! I guess I gotta move this over here. Yeah, this is about as far as I got before, so... We are in uncharted territory now. I have, uh, no idea how long this game is supposed to be. I can use that. Oh, probably won't work on you. Wow, that thing's... kinda scary. Okay. This is probably gonna be stuck on my head for the next month. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to touch bomb things. Forgot it. As many times as I got hit, I still got two-thirds of my life. More than two-thirds. Why do I even need this bee stuff? I just avoid them. Cat biscuits. That just makes no sense. I guess a cat stole my teddy bear. What's up with that? Oh, okay. Well, this is kind of sadistic. Oh, oh I forgot the cat biscuit. Yoink. <laughs> Okay, deep pit. Boy, these signs are so helpful. I'm just gonna sneak, 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 sneak. Okay, is that bomb a weapon or is it gonna blow me up? Oh, sweet. <laughs> just like Zelda. This game's probably that good, right? It's got cell shaded graphics and all that. Boom. Cool. Okay. That was weird. I thought I was had a glitch game there for a second. Alright, so we're spray that I'm not using. Okay, thanks for letting me know about another deep hit. Um There's a bomb. Boom. Haha! Anybody that hasn't actually watched the actual real Mr. Bean should like do so, because it's freaking awesome. That's it. Come here. Shh. Oh, it works on them too. Sweet, I didn't know that. Yeah. Can I put that on you? No. Uh, alright, I don't know what to do with that. Gotcha. La 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 Uh, that didn't quite work. Yay! See? This game is freaking 
freaking awesome! Oh, die. Ugh, die, Sid. Thank you. I, I need more bombs. No trespassing. Well, too bad, I don't got any other way to go. Yeah, so I'd say this game is perfectly linear so far. Guard dog, huh? I don't see any dogs. Five of them? That sucks. Oh, another one of those trees. Is there a dog in it? Boink, boink. Teddy! Ho, 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 Teddy. Ow! Oh, there's a dog. Ah. Say, get away from me, frog! 
Oops. Ow, oh, okay. Fine. Hey, uh, I wonder if this is a very deep pit. Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, oh no, a branching path. Yeah, are you gonna fall? Now they're 
there's a bazillion bees up here, so that's awesome. Careful, I'm gonna die. Alright. On to the next area. I wonder how long this is. Okay, so here's the part where I accidentally turned off my recorder. Uh, but I didn't want to just let all this footage go to waste. And I thought, well, I can just fake it. I'll go back in and try to act the way I acted before, uh, yeah, well, that's stupid. So, I decided, let's just do a voiceover and critique my performance, knowing what I know now. So here is where uh, I got the slingshot, and I was thinking, oh, that statue told me I need to kill, like, 20 moles, or 12 moles, or whatever. Uh, so, I was like, here's a garden. She said she wanted me to beat moles in her garden. So I'm coming over here to, yes, um, just hit moles over and over and over again, which is insanely boring um, and stupid, and I almost just decided to edit the whole thing out. So here we are. <laughs> um, yeah. I hadn't really figured out what I was supposed to do for real yet. Uh, in fact, most of this first video was really me getting used to the controls. Uh, I didn't go back and reread the instruction manual or anything. Uh, in fact, I, I probably just glanced through it once right when I got the game. I think it was one of those instruction manuals, if I'm not wrong, that uh, just doesn't have much to it to really help you. And as I said before, there's not a whole lot of videos of this online. There's no walkthroughs. I couldn't find a fact. So, I'm just going blind here. And, yeah, I get bumped like an idiot. Here's where I started freaking out because I was actually going to die. So I'm almost out of power. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to go one more round to make sure that I got 20 moles, which turns out I only need 12, but it didn't matter either way. Uh, and then for some reason I couldn't hit this guy. Like, I don't know why I couldn't hit him. Anyway, I like how uh, you can pretty much, you know, shoot backwards. <laughs> the game actually doesn't look bad though, it's not really glitching out on me or anything. I think uh, the most trouble I've been having is with the jumping, the actual platforming. Trying to accurately figure out where Mr. Bean is gonna land, uh, not moving too fast or too far. And sometimes when you're standing on top of an object, if you're on the edge, you slip off. So you have to make sure you're good and on. Uh, otherwise you could go, you know, flying. And yes, yeah, shooting is still awesome. Um, so let's go back and uh, get some, get some more, I guess. Are we gonna shoot another round of moles? Oh, please no. Yeah. Aren't you glad you didn't have to sit through this with me? Actually, like me and I go, I'm just gonna shoot. Well, I can't shoot them. Blah blah blah. Because that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> Maybe I should just fast forward through this. But no, you guys are gonna have the true experience of me playing this game. Now the good news is, uh, I really feel like I'm getting comfortable with the controls now, and I think uh, the next video will show that uh, I'll be uh, running around a little bit more smoothly. Being as there is no uh, facts that I could find for this game or walkthroughs, I don't know, we'll see how I feel when I finish the game. I might actually consider going back and, and doing that. Um, yeah, we'll see. I might just move on to something else. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to take much more once I complete the game. <laughs> okay, so now I'm like, alright, I got enough moles, let's go back and see if she gives me a, a puzzle piece. And yeah, sneak, sneak, sneak. So we're going back to where I saw that statue. Uh, and where I will, uh, I'm about to have a dawning realization. Uh, you move the camera with the D-pad back and forth, which is really odd because you change your weapons with the D-pad up and down. Here's where I figured out, oh, it's a mini game. I'm supposed to play it right here. Like an idiot, apparently I can't read. So this is Whack-A-Mole, uh, which basically looks like Whack-A-Mole, uh, but the controls for it are weird. So yeah, I can't figure out what to do. So on 
a nunchuck, you're using the nunchuck to move the hammer. Uh, it's one of the positions. Uh, apparently you can't hit the little guys with helmets because it's stunned you for a And then, to actually whack the hammer, you actually have to throw your controller down, like you're hammering with it. So yes, this game is using some motion controls, at least with uh, the slingshot and with this hammer. Um, yeah, it's alright, I found it kind of annoying, and really, once I figured out how to how to do it, it's very fast. Uh, I get the feeling more and more that this game was designed for, you know, five-year-olds to play. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, I'm stunned. But with the uh, amount of frustration there is in some of the platforming, I'm not sure uh, my kids would, would play it for that long. They're not quite five yet, so I haven't put them through any uh, of this kind of torture. Okay, loading again. Loading screens aren't horrible. At least you get to see the mini. <laughs> Alright, so here I figured out a very cool. Starting to wonder how long this level is. And, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, just walk right off the edge. That almost made me feel like Drake all over again. Just walk off the edge. Um, again, the camera is a little funny, and I really feel like I have to stop to move it. I can't. It's, it's hard for me to move and walk at the same time with this camera. But I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used to it. Checkpoint. Uh, the funny thing is, there's I guess there's no lives in this game, so if you die, they just restart you right there at the last checkpoint. So there's not really um, anything bad about dying, except you might have to repeat, you know, the minute or two between checkpoints. Because <laughs> there sure is uh, plenty of checkpoints. I still don't know what the deal is with all the cat biscuits. Anyway, we're getting closer to the end now. Figuring out some more of this puzzle stuff. Which again, pretty simple puzzles. But then you wonder, why do they have two blocks here? You don't need two blocks, you just need one. Yeah, quite a... quite a, uh... puzzle. <laughs> yeah, and I missed. Awesome. And I said screw it, apparently. <laughs> and I got hit by a bee. Oh, Twitter. And I, I, I just gotta stop and read the signs. I keep jumping instead of reading the signs because I keep getting confused about which button's which, but B is jump. A, I'm sorry. A is jump, and B is your um, action button. So it just, yeah, it's just weird. Um, action button as in reading. On the, your, on your other hand is where the weaponry is, so do your sprays and stuff. But I almost found it better just to avoid enemies and try to even stop and bother spraying them unless they're actively bothering me. Yeah, high explosives. Good thing they had that sign. really is a cute game. <laughs> I think uh, I'm enjoying it more than I expected for something I was expecting to be much, much worse. <laughs> Maybe on my second playthrough I can use his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I think I said something about Tomb Raider here, like moving blocks around. But uh, yeah, this game is in no way, shape, or form Tomb Raider. <laughs> Science. I swear, Zelda ruined everything for me, because no matter what, I gotta stop and read the signs. <laughs> Always gotta stop and read the signs. It just cracks me up. So, apparently all the golden chests contain puzzle pieces. I have two, but I think I th thought I had three because I did that mini game and it says, Oh, you get a key map and a puzzle piece. Uh, lo and behold, it actually just shows where the puzzle piece is on your map, it doesn't give it to you. Which, of course, I, I wasn't using my map properly, so I missed it. <laughs> a little trouble with the platform there again. Oh, and then I get bombed in the 
anything, so that's kind of funny. Like I said, they give you plenty of life, unless you're really just bad. I, I can't see how you would die too much playing this game. And you get to leave on your own picture. Fantastic. So yeah, yeah, finish the level. So it kind of give you a little... I think it gives you a little summary here of how you did. Oh nope, you gotta look it up. And it doesn't start you at the door you went in, which kind of bothered me. Yeah, sorry, cheese road again. So, let's go check out and see how good we did. And 80%. But I only got two of three pieces. Well anyway, I thought the game was glitching out, because I went through like two more times like I didn't find it. Until I figured out how to use the minigame in the map properly. So I actually started a new profile and, and uh, 100 percent at the level and I am ready for the next one. So thank you for watching. I will see you soon.